Michael May Bicycle Club. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Yo. Can you uh, just go around and int introduce yourselves first off? Hi, I'm Ed and I play bass. Hi, I'm Storan and I play drums. <laughs> I'm Jamie and I play guitar. I'm Jack and I sing. Well, um, I've, I've got to ask, what is uh, what first impressions of Toronto? Is this your first time to the city? It's, uh, it's the first time we've ever played in Canada or the States. We came here once about a year ago mm -hmm. to do some recording. That was pretty brief. It was like a small one-horse town outside of Toronto. Um, I think what it was mainly known for was having the general of the air force base was a paedophile and a serial killer, and it had the most crackheads per capita in Canada. But what albums has it also made and produced in that um, in that vicinity? I'm, I'm sure. No, we kind of uh, kind of oh, ditched yeah. everything we recorded in there. Oh really? Was that was that some for, for flaws or? No, no. That, for the third one, which oh, is back right. to electric. So. Fantastic. So let's uh, let's talk a bit about that. You uh, you worked on new material. I imagine you'll be uh, playing a bit of that as you travel around these uh, these conferences over here. Yeah, a couple of songs. I mean, a lot of people over here, for them, it's still like the first album is pretty fresh for them, so it's not as important. But for us, it's nice to be playing new stuff. So. Yeah, well, we um, we're just kind of starting to get get wind of you guys in Australia, and the the waves are slowly uh, slowly moving moving around. That's a pretty bad wording considering what's happening in Japan right now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's um. It's it's great to see it's traveling around. What is what is some of the verdicts have been hearing from other sides of the world is it sort of like it releases in Canada and it's it's, it's like a redone a redo of what you've already done in the UK in terms of yeah well, we work. met some of their label earlier and obviously they were still talking about doing releasing what we'd already done yeah and um, but it always feels like that wherever you go and tour in a new place for the first time you're kind of having to start again essentially and win all those fans in like small venues it's fun playing small venues again, because like in the UK you start getting, you play bigger and bigger shows and eventually like the crowd gets further and further away from you and it gets less yeah. intimate. And then to go abroad and go back to playing these really like underground and really intimate shows is, is fun. And you're about to play, play a record store, which should, should be interesting. And you're actually in a literal record store, you're downstairs in the basement surrounded by vinyl. That's going to kind of give a, give it a different vibe for you ahead of the game. Yeah, we're doing, an, doing an acoustic set there, but the band that's on when we just left now is like a pretty hard, like a hardcore band basically, so <laughs> it should be an interesting mix. So I guess in Australia you are still getting getting your name around, and maybe we should kind of ask you the questions that you've already been asked a couple of years ago, which uh, it's a pretty pain to answer again, but um, how, how did the band come together? What's the, what's the, what are the liner notes of that story? Us, us three went to the same school. We were in the same class at school um, and got together to a school assembly originally. It's not very exciting. Cool. <laughs> um, and then I joined a few months later. Um, and we actually invited him to join the band at, at a funeral, which is a bit strange. But, um, Something good came of the funeral. <laughs> Where there was death, there was life. Yeah. Should always add to that. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Fair enough. And so, 2011. It sounds like uh, will there be the third album? Will that be released this year, or what's the what's what's, what's planned? Yeah, third album towards the end of this year, I think. Um, I think hopefully we'll be coming to Australia in <laughs> early July. Yep. No, not early July. Early January. Early January. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, whenever like the big day out is and stuff, all that sort of stuff. I think yeah. someone told me like a few years back that we had a. a a song in an underwear advert in Australia, so oh, really? I think that was our, our big break. Though. <laughs> no wonder people have heard about you.